Today we're going to show you how to install iOS 7. Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Mapline here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update to iOS 7, which Apple just released today. Uh, if you just follow these very simple instructions, you'll be able to get iOS 7 and enjoy all of its cool features. Be sure to subscribe if I helped you out today. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 7 on your computer, and that's because it is the safer way to do it and also the faster way. I've heard reports of some of my friends uh, it taking them four hours or seven hours uh, download times uh, are what it's estimating just to download it over the air. And uh, that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, Apple gives a little bit more precedent to computers, and also the fact that you're going to have a much faster connection on your computer network than on your Wi-Fi or cellular network. But however, if you did want to do it over the air, say you're not uh, near your home computer, I'll show you how to do it on my old iPhone 4S. What you want to do is go into settings, you're going to click general, you're going to go to software update, it's going to check for an update, iOS 7, you're going to click download and install, hit accept, and it's going to do the rest of the work for you. Literally, that's it. It's going to do everything, restart your phone once, and you'll have iOS 7 right on your device. Now, with the, uh, the iPhone 5, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do it on the computer. So, if you just bear with me a second, and I'll show you guys how to get started. Now, once you've plugged your iPhone into the computer, it's going to pop up asking to download iOS 7. You're going to either hit download and update, or you can just go over to the iPhone tab and update it from here. Just click update, hit continue, and then hit update again. Then it's going to ask you a little bit about their terms and conditions. You can hit next and agree. And uh, then it's going to download your update. Once your update is done downloading, it's going to start installing the update. It's going to automate this process. It might ask you to hit OK depending on uh, if there's any inconsistencies. But pretty much from here, it's just going to download and install. So we're actually going to skip ahead and take a look at what iOS 7 looks like on the iPhone 5. So once you've successfully updated your iPhone, uh, your iPhone is going to start saying hello in a bunch of different languages. Um, what this is, is this just brought you to the main startup screen. So what you're going to do is just swipe. It's going to say update completed. Just like that. And you're going to hit continue. And then it's just going to say welcome to my iPhone. And you're going to hit get started. And there we go. Right now, you've got iOS 7. Look at all of these amazing features. There's a lot of great stuff in here. You've got the control panel. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do everything in this video. However, I do have uh, either out now or coming out soon, depending on what time you're watching this, the iOS 7 full features guide video. You can watch how to do absolutely everything on iOS 7. Uh, it's really great, really cool. So be sure to watch that video. If it's already out, it will be in an annotation link. And also be sure to subscribe if I helped you guys today. Once again, I'm Alex from AppFind. I'll see you guys later. Bye.